How did you use media technologies in the construction and research, planning and evaluation stages? Well, we used um, an HD camera to film most of the footage and it also takes um, high quality stills so we could use that for um, blogging and stuff. Well, for stills we also used a phone because you can take it around with you and if you find a nice location you can just take a picture of it. Um, another good thing about the camera is that after you've taken a clip it puts it into um, thumbnails so you can just search through them, see what you filmed and that also makes it easier putting it onto the computer. So we can go into Final Cut Express and you drag them all into here and you have all the clips you've done which makes it so much uh, more organised and easier to put into the film. Um, Final Cut Express is a good tool to use for editing because it allows you to cut down the clips to the, the length you want them and it also allows you to add in effects like here we use cross dissolve and And for this, um, we also used um, some filters. We've got a vinaigrette filter around the edge. We also we are able to brighten up the clips. Um, another thing it allowed us to do is split screen, which we had at the beginning. We dragged all the clips onto it, and it allowed us to do this. Let me pause it. Another program we used was Photoshop. This was uh, useful for the Digipack. But here we've got uh, something we started to edit, and Photoshop's really like, helpful to do this because it allows you to have layers, so you can add uh, different pictures onto other images. Which is something we were going for. <laughs> we use the internet for various things. Uh, we have Facebook here which helped us get audience, audience feedback. Um, we have Prezi, which helped us um, organise our points and put them into an easy way. Um, we have YouTube, which was really helpful because it gave us uh, tutorials of how to use Final Cut and Photoshop. We also have Blogger, which is how we um, track our progress through media. Yeah.